What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to some more Little Root Lettering. So, uh, today is the last day we're going to be playing the ho -Oh team here. Uh, if you haven't picked it up, make sure you do so. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, make sure you go and do that at your earliest convenience. Uh, this team's been great. I have honestly genuinely enjoyed our time with this team so far. So, um, if you want a breakdown of the team and everything, check out the previous episodes. That's where we go over all that. And let's get to it today, see what we can do, if we can finally get into ultra ball maybe we were so close last time and uh, it still eludes me what do we got opponents Sh ice rider that's not the calyrex i expected um ensign rillaboom nothing really surprising there trevenant this is probably like shadow sneak trevenant does trevenant get shadow sneak this is like a trick room team, but like, it's not. <laughs> hmm. I mean, well, it looks great. I think this is like Lando, Whimsicott, Ho -Oh, Urshifu. Something like this, maybe? Maybe instead of Urshifu, we want Aegislash. I can see that. We're, like, really dependent on ho -Oh to do a ton of damage here, though. Do we want Rillaboom to be able to deal with Feeny? Now we have Aegislash. We have Aegislash, we have Landorus. Yeah, okay, I think this is fine. If they want to set up, like, Trick Room, we can Encore them into it. They don't have Psychic Train, so they can't prevent, like, Encore or anything. We can also Charm down the, uh, the Ice Riders, so that's, that's fine. So let's see... What do we got, opponent? Ensign Trevenant. Okay. I mean, I think this is fine. They're going to get their Intimidate off. Doesn't really mean anything here. They're going to see my Life Orb, and they're going to see my Mental Herb. So I wonder if, because they don't see uh, Focus Ash, if they just want to Flare Bless my Whimsicott. Hmm. Huh. So I could sludge bomb the Trevenant. Let's let's just do this. Let's do something like this. If they wanna like one shot my Whimsicott, I think I'm okay. And they're just gonna go for fake out. Why did I sludge bomb the Ensign? Why did I sludge bomb the instant? I should have just earth powered it. That was... I don't... Oh my lord! Guys, I don't know what I'm doing today. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll pick it up now, and we will encore the Trevenant. I, I actually don't know why I sludge bombed there. Um, if I had Earth Powered, it would have probably picked up the Ensign, to be honest with you. Obviously, locking the Ensign into, uh... That's really bad. Locking the Ensign into Encore also would have been good. Yeah, they're gonna bring out Ice Rider now, but... This is kind of fine. Is it, though? Like, it's not great. Also, we can't Encore Ensign. That's gonna be in my Whimsicott, isn't it? Yeah, alright, well... I have played this like a complete dunce. Had we had we earth powered Ensign last turn, we pick it up, and then um, like we get to be able to charm this Kylyrex, and then I think we're in a really good position. But now I can't say that. I'm gonna bring out Aegislash here. I wonder if they have an ice move outside of Glacial Lands. It's gonna be Trevenant coming back in. Okay. 
I mean, I'm going to click wide guard. And... Earth Power is probably just my best damage here. Yeah, I think this is fine. They like Shadow Sneak into... Uh, their Calyrex is not great. I'm gonna Force Curse. Turns me into a Grass type? Yeah, Glacial Lance, got him. I mean, that does a sizable chunk, in all actuality. Um, we have two turns of Trick and left. Okay, I think we can stall this out. Um, yeah, well, Earth Power here. And... I'm gonna King Shield this turn. I think they're gonna try to target down the Aegis Slash. So I can just get them. That would be cool. I wonder if they're choice banned, and that's why they're withdrawing here. I wonder. King Shield actually could fail this turn, right? Yeah, because we, uh... Interesting. Okay. I mean, Lando holds on, so that's cool. And then this turn, we can protect plus King Shield... And that'll stall out Trick Room. I've I've played this game kinda as a complete dunce, but honestly, Ho -Oh can just win this end game, especially now that Ensign is gone. Yeah. So I wonder what the item on Kali Ice is. It could be Life Orb. Could be Choice Band. I actually think Choice Man might be reasonable, and that's why they switched here. They could also just not have anything that hits Aegis Slash because of Wide Guard. Also, why Force Curse my Aegis Slash? That doesn't remove my typing, right? It just adds the Grass typing to it? Is that how that works? Adds the grass type to the target in addition to the Pokemon's original type. Okay. I mean, they probably want to grassy glide into later, so I'm just going to switch into ho -Oh. And we can Shadow Sneak into Trevenant this turn. That'll do a sizable chunk. Yep, Grassy Glide into ho -Oh is going to do basically nothing, especially since they're at minus one. The question is, how much does this Shadow Sneak do? Pretty decent damage, all things considered. And yeah, just set up another trick room, that's fine. I don't really care about that. You don't have a switch into uh, Sacred Fire. Um, so we will Sacred Fire the Rillaboom slot, and we will Shadow Sneak into the Trevenant. Like, this covers everything. If they want to switch Trevenant out, we get to hit the Calyrex on the on the switch in. Uh, Aegis Slash is the slowest thing. Well, we are slower than... Sh sure? I feel like you should have uh, Sucker Punched into my Aegis Slash to try to pick it up, but okay. Yeah, they're going to knock off into Ho-Oh. It's going to get rid of my, my Citrus. That's fine. 
because I get to pick up both of your mons here. And now it's Calyrex under tri uh, under Trick Room against Ho. -Oh. I'm probably gonna sack off Landorus here, just switch Ho -Oh out and uh, get the Regenerator boost here, and King Shield the Aegis Slash this turn. So I couldn't have even eat my Citrus anyway. So yeah, we'll sack off Landorus, and uh, we will King Shield. If we can get the attack drop onto Calyrex, I feel pretty good about my life. Obviously, sacking off Landorus in the face of uh, Calyrex is not great, but I will take it if that's the if this is the play we have to make. Got him. So, are you banned? Do we play like they are banned? I mean, they, they literally can't be banned, right? If they're banned, we just win because we have ho -Oh in the back now. Two turns of Trick Room. So, we can protect this turn, and we can switch into ho -Oh. I wonder if they are actually banned. If they are, they just literally can't win that endgame, I, I think. Because we have Wide Guard, and we have King Shield. So, like, uh, so if they are Choice Band, um, they can't hit Landorus or ho -Oh, so locking into it doesn't make sense. If they lock into Glacial Lance, I just click Wide Guard every turn for the rest of the game, and I win. But this is all on the, the back that they are um, Choice Band, which... We only saw them attack twice, and, like, the one time they did, they switched out. So, I think there's a non-zero chance that that's what they are. Well, one Calyrex into the other. Uh, this time backed up with Ndidi, Mianxiao, Whimsicott of their own, Arcanine, and Stack Attacka. I like Aegislash, I like Urshifu, I like Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom's really important here, so we can uh, be able to... Have priority attacks in the Calyrex. Um, I wonder if Shadow Sneak does enough to one shot. I'm gonna bring Aegis Slash up front. I'm gonna bring. Whimsicott, Ho -Oh, and Rillaboom, I think. This leaves me kind of weak to stack attacker, so what if I don't bring Whimsicott and instead I bring Landorus? I could also bring Urshifu. Urshifu plays around Arcanine as well. I mean, Landorus does as well. Am I worried about underspeeding them? I don't think so. I think I have enough priority moves here that I'm not actually worried about it. I think having all these priority moves is going to be pretty pretty great for us. If they do bring Ndidi up front, if it's like Ndidi, Mianxiao, they can't fake out. Um, notably, because it's Ndidi male, they can't follow me, so... If this is just Calyrex on the lead, we can probably just KO it. It's me and Shao Arcanine up front. I'm pretty okay with this, to be honest. Sure, Intimidate doesn't really accomplish anything. Um, so we can switch into ho -Oh here, anticipating a Fire-type attack. And we can protect Landorus this turn. Play around Fake Out. I need to preserve um, Aegislash for Calyrex, I think. I wonder how much Shadow Sneak actually does against... Um, let's pull up the calculator real quick and, and find out. Calyrex Shadow.
And this is Aegis Slash. Shadow Sneak. Um, what is our investment on Aegis Slash? You're 112. You're max, max. Yeah, this is a guaranteed KO. Yep, 110 to 131. Cool. So yeah, guaranteed KO there with Aegis Slash into um, Calyrex. That's really good to know. So I think I like going for like Brave Bird into Manchow and just Earth Power into Arcanine this turn. I miss what Arcanine went for. They're going to protect. That's fine. I wonder if this is just double protect from them. It's going to be knock off. All right. Get, get rid of my life orb. That's unfortunate. Um, you're not going to lose your Manchow if you're Sash, which could be annoying. So maybe we wanted to go for Sacred Fire there instead. Yeah, there's a Sash. That's fine. I think the play this turn is... Protect ho -Oh and um I kinda wanna get this rid of this man shell. What am I worried about Arcanine doing? What happens if I leave me and Shell alone? Yeah, sure, let's do this. I have a feeling this is probably just knock off into Ho-Oh. It is. Okay. And without Life Orb, I doubt this KOs now. JK LOL. Landorus is just actually too good, guys. If this is Calyrex on the switch in, this isn't great. Um. Indeed. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so um Aegis Slash can actually switch in on an Astral Barrage too. That's really good to know. Do I want to sacrifice my Miracle Seed on Rillaboom to be able to get... I think so. I think losing this is fine. Because then we get rid of their terrain. And here we can... There's Power into Man Shall pick it up. If we pick up Manchow this turn, they're not going to be able to reset terrain, which I think is important. It could also just be like expanding force from Ndidi, and that would do a sizable chunk. If this is like Scarf and Ndidi, that'd do a chunk. It is! Oh no! Oh, we're fine. JK. Alright, you got rid of my Miracle Seed, but you lose your Manchow now. Show me Calyrex! And, like, honestly, I am completely fine sacking off the entire team if it means I can pick up the Calyrex. Like, at this point, Ndidi is probably the bigger issue. Sure, I don't- I actually don't care about this Calyrex. Um... I think I just want to Grassy Glide into Ndidi. I mean, they have to be Scarf to outspeed my Landorus, right? 168. 
Come on, work with me. Windows is 101 and DD is 95. Yeah, they had to be Scarf. Okay. That's really good to know. I'll just protect Landers here. I think sacking it off is actually fine. Cool. That's actually insane for us. Show me Life Orb. We know they're not Focus Sash, so this has to be Life Orb, right? Sure, you picked up my Real Boom, but now I get a free switch in to Age of Slash, and Shadow Sneak is going to pick up the KO. This game is over. <laughs> like, sure, they can protect to stall this out. Like, to get Grassy Terrain Recovery, but Shadow Sneak is a guaranteed KO on, on Calyrex. Uh, it literally doesn't matter what we do with, with Landers. No Protect. Shadow Sneak, KO. GG. Goodbye, Cali. Taking down all the horses today, guys. Taking down all the horses. That was a sweet one. That was a sweet, sweet match. Holy cow, we finally hit Ultra Ball. Thank goodness. All right. Last one of the day. Kyogre without Tailwind. Interesting. Uh, Cinderace Landers here to back it up. Eliki, uh, Umbreon, and their own Ndidi female. Well, I think Whimsicott is just actually insane. I think Urshifu looks really appealing. I think these two up front are probably what I want to do with, like, Rillaboom and... I think Landorus is really ideal here. It checks a lot of their team. And I, I don't particularly want to bring ho -Oh in the face of Kyogre and Eliki and Landorus. Yeah, let's do it. Let's lock it up. It's gonna be Eliki plus. Okay. I feel pretty okay about this lead. We get to set up Tailwind and then. Um, surging Strikes into the Eliki here. And then, depending on what they do this turn, we can go for Grass Knot into the. Uh, the Kyogre next turn, and that'll do a pretty sizable chunk. We get speed priority here, so, like, that's huge. No protects coming out from our opponent. No switches either, so this should just be a free KO into the, the Eliki. Sick. Deuces. Have fun. The question is, is what is your Kyogre doing? Yeah, just Water Spout. This is going to do a chunk, but we hold on with both. So now we can go for that Grass Knot. Um, and DD would be annoying here? No, it's just Cinderace. I don't care about that at all. I'm just going to target down your Whale. I mean, I guess I can Surging Strikes into the... The Cinderace. This is probably Sucker Punch from Cinderace. Uh, oh, okay. Um. <laughs> cool. Um, I don't, I don't know if they just did not anticipate Surging Strikes to do that much, or I. 
I don't know, guys. <laughs> I actually don't have anything for that one. But, you know, I will I will take a 3-0 today. Um, you know, we finally got into Ultra Ball this season. It only took, like, 20-some battles this season, which is absurd. But, you know, whatever. So, let's let's show uh, this rental code up one more time. Go pick it up. It's, it seems great. Um, I have genuinely enjoyed our time with this team. I don't quite understand our opponent's play that last game, but um, I, I guess they expected, like, the double KO from Water Spout, and, like, as a result, they thought they were going to be able to be in that game, but I I have no idea. I'll, I'll take it, though. So, that is going to do it, everyone. Have a fantastic day. Pick this up while it's still available. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Peace.